Hello YouTube and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Nihai Hobo. Um, so it was a bit of an abrupt end to the last video. Uh, what basically happened there was uh, I'd got my throttle um, set to the shift and control keys. And of course that's right next to the Windows key. And uh, when you accidentally hit the Windows key, um, that sends you back to your window screen and obviously stops Fraps recording and that was why I had my little skit and um, yeah, that's that's what I did. I, I spammed another button. <laughs> so, um, as a result, um, what happened to this was this ap uh, apapsis was way, way over here by the time I got back. Uh, but I didn't really fancy a trip to Minmus, so we turned the rocket round and uh, fired uh, another burn to get us back onto an approach to the Moon. Now, today's episode um, is going to be all done at the, the normal single speed. As you can see, in 10 minutes, in this 10 minute slot for the video, we ain't going to make it that far. So, um, but that's okay. We are going to be coming back to this. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was actually talk about um, some of the stuff that's gone on in the other videos. I, uh, I received my first series of comments this morning, and so I wanted to um, discuss those and the channel a little bit more, really, and, and give you a, an idea of where uh, this is going. So, um, the first thing, and the, the, the real bone of contention that I wanted to address, and that I thought was always going to be a problem, was the, um, the effectively the overwrite of the persistent spacecraft, and thus removing uh, Alpha 1 and um, Beta 3. Now, um, as it says in the comments, that's... It was a little bit cheap. Um, I will absolutely grant you that. I completely utterly agree. And I I really didn't want it to work out that way in the end. That's not how I wanted this to go. Um, but, as you saw, the rescue attempt itself turned into a rescue attempt. Now, this could have been going on forever. And I didn't want people to start getting bored with um, me sending up rocket and failing over and over and over again. Because there'll be plenty of that with this gameplay as well. Um, but with that said, um, it was cheap, so I do apologize. And if you have come back to watch this video and you are giving me, um, uh, are giving me another go, I consider that a second chance. And I am very humbled by that. And I'm very grateful that you have come back. Um, and please stick around. Uh, if you're enjoying this stuff, it's pretty much going to be a very similar vein for the whole time. With that said as well, um, some of the comments that I had were very complimentary um, and very flattering um, and any criticism that I received was constructive and it's all been taken on board and I'm going to be acting on all of it. Um, and to that end, um, that sort of segues me onto um, the second thing. Now, most of these are going to be coming, most of these suggestions are going to be coming from a YouTuber by the name of, and I hope I pronounce this right, Spinder. Uh, and he's uh, from Denmark. I've been over and checked out his channel. Um, I'm going to put a link as well, uh, either an annotation around here, or it will be in the description below. Um, but you know, uh, I don't know whether I just looked out and found the, the one video where he was speaking English. I didn't have a lot of time to go through and check his other stuff, but you know, that itself was a, a high quality video and a very good message within it. And his gameplay footage didn't have any commentary. It was very short, but it was an excellent quality. But one of the things he's said is that he wishes that the uh, quality of the footage was better. Now, if you look down at the bottom right hand side there, you'll see that I am recording in 720 uh, for the for the definition, which, to my mind, um, says that that's going to be a good quality. Now, I know you can't polish a turd, so I'm going to explain the whole recording process that I go through uh, in the first place. Um, because on my screen right now, it looks pretty good. So I record in fraps, uh, as I've already said, um, which I believe that's a standard AVI, and there's nothing you can do about that. I then import it to Camtasia, um, 
at that point, that's when it's stretched to make it into the widescreen that you see now. And that's why season nine originally, so episode nine originally, uh, had the boxes on the sides of it because I, I'd forgotten to stretch it when rendering. And that's being redone now as well. That was another thing that was brought up. That will be fixed very shortly. And, and then it's rendered in 720 um, onto my computer and then uploaded. So I don't see where the quality is being lost. So if anybody can suggest anything there, please do post me a comment and you know, give me a bit of help with that because I'm spending the time and the effort and I'm more than willing to do so. Um, but if I'm not getting the end result, it seems a little fruitless. Um, so... Um, uh, and really, that was a bit of a sidetrack as well. Going back to um, what was being said about the deletion of the, um, or the, the overwrite of the persistent file with all the other stuff going on on it. Um, sorry, I thought that uh, for a second I would been dragged into that. I thought it was way too early. Um, it was mentioned that uh, you guys thought that the, the beta 5 was hilarious. And um, you know what? I never really gave it a fair crack of the whip. So that will be being relaunched at some point, probably after this rocket's um, been done. So we'll come back. Um, but I'm, again, I'm going to try and pronounce this. I hope I get it right. I apologize if I don't. Uh, Victoriova. Victoriova. Um, Victorivova. Sorry. Victor, Victorivova also suggested that I um, named it the Beta 5 Bug Catcher. Now, um, <laughs> it's a very good idea, and I really should have done so. But we're going to do a bit of a let's pretend with that one. So now it's not going to be some sort of crazy um, command module capturing device. But we're going to launch it as a satellite. Uh, I know that there are mods out there to allow you to do this more realistically, but I quite like this game in its vanilla form. Uh, I might look at doing some mods for it one day, but for the time being, I would uh, prefer to um, prefer to just play it in, in the way that God intended, um, or Squad, God Squad uh, intended, uh, in its natural form. So, um, that will be being launched, and um, you never know, one day it might be turned back into the bug catcher when I've got a spacecraft that bails out, and it just so happens to be quite near, and it, it's in a reasonably good pos uh, position to go and aid and assist. So we'll just see. Um, you know, I don't want to force another two uh, command modules up there and abort them um, uh, just for the sake of uh, sending something else up after them. Uh, if I'm going to screw up, I want to screw up organically. And it will come with time. That much you can be sure of. So, just running down to the last uh, two minutes I have available on this slot. So, what I want to do then is just for the third and final, well, maybe the third. I've lost, uh, <laughs> I've lost, uh, um, lost track of how many things I've uh, talked about here. But uh, as, the, as the last subject I want to cover, um, that is uh, the rules. Okay, so I moved the rules in order to fit the particular situation that was in, and that was wrong. Okay. I'm going to apply some new rules which will help me um, provide you with better game footage. That is, this is the new rule, that the mission objective of keeping Kerbals alive is not, doesn't stand anymore. I'm obviously not going to kill them on purpose, but if they go, they go and a rescue mission will be attempted, but I'm not going to be so precious. I'm not good enough at this game to be precious about the lives of the, the Kerbal uh, cosmonauts and they signed on for this, they knew what was coming so that's that's the new rule on the, on the situation now, these guys have just become expendable so uh, hopefully that should allow us in the future to um, well allow me to, to provide you with some better gameplay but please you know, have your input as well I really, really um, want to know what you guys think. Uh, the feedback I've had so far has been brilliant. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, thanks very much for joining me. My name's Nihai, no Nihai Hobo, and one day we'll say that right as an exit. Uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.